Hi, I'm Allison Riley for City Lights on Novus TV, and I'm here at the Big Ideas Art Exhibition. And this exhibition features art from high school students from around the North Vancouver area. And all their art has been inspired by the Biennale exhibitions that you may have seen all around Vancouver. So let's go inside and check out some of this amazing art. So Teresa, what is the big idea about the Big Idea exhibition? Well, the big idea is that students were responding to public art. Um, the artwork that's been in town for the last two years for the Vancouver Biennale was the basis for the kids' inspiration. So the students looked at um, the sculptural work in town, they researched it online to find out what was the big idea or concept behind the work, and then they created a piece that responded to that big idea. Now what kind of mediums will you see here today? You'll see photographs, you'll see wire sculpture, you'll see oil paintings, acrylic paintings, some digital work, um, ceramics. How important is it for these young artists to get this chance to show their work? Extremely important. The reason that, uh, you know, to show their work is important is to build confidence for them. And they also share. It's a sharing thing uh, because they can bring their friends and family around and they get an opportunity to see other students. What did they work on as well too? So it's really uh, something that would be lasting for their life. I'm trying to portray the theme of immigration here in my piece. So basically, this boy is a traveler in a foreign land, surrounded by a foreign language that I made up. And everything that surrounds him is really strange. Like this plant here looks really exotic. And this little bird is like walking towards him, so kind of giving him a welcome. And he appears curious, and he's reaching out for the bird. But he also hesitates at the same time. This was actually done in an Artist for Kids class. Um, I decided that I was going to use that time in order to work towards this Biennale project. And I decided that I was going to um, do a take on Goulet's chairs. They're called Echoes down at Kitsilano. I abstracted it in order to just show that, you know, life doesn't just come in these perfect, sh perfectly shaped chairs and, you know, straight lines and maybe slight curves. It's twisted and it's it's messy, like none of the colors that I've chosen in this piece really make sense. They're all lapping over one another and mixing up. Um, well, my piece was originated from the We 2008 piece, the sculpture. Um, it was kind of a combination of what I really thought that the piece meant to me. It was like kind of really emotional and like how he was in a position and like faceless. So I thought that the words defaced was really, really like powerful to me. So I used really powerful words to construct the face. Do you hope to maybe pursue this as a career someday? I'd love to pursue it as a career, actually, yeah. It'd be super fun, and this is great to put into my portfolio, so everything benefits. Already exhibited in a gallery, not even graduate high school. Yep. Pretty cool, pretty impressive. Can you tell me a little bit about this piece that you've done here? Well, um, it's a garment made out of recycled uh, materials. I try to bring the elements of Korea and Canada together and present it in one garment. It's recycling, it's, it's multiculturalism, mm -hmm. it's very Vancouver, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to come check out the work of all these talented artists, you can see it at Cityscape Art Space and it runs from April 8th to 23rd and you can visit nvartscouncil.ca for more information.